um, if you think about when you lose someone, that's that's hard enough for you losing that person. You're grief stricken. You think about what that's, that person will lose every single relationship they've ever known, existing, previous, so all the roles they've ever played in life, you know, all of their experiences, you know, the smell of rain, which is raining right now, you yeah. know, a good glass of wine, um, you know, the beach, the, you know, walking on sand, all of those beautiful, they're about to lose everything. That's enormous for our mm. psyche hard to take so we have to look away so that's okay so when we get that kind of resistance in this phase therapeutically what you do with that is that that's okay you respect it that's okay you can interview it you can um in some way engage with it um it's not uncommon for me to speak with somebody who is you know they've been told they have you know stage four metastatic cancer and one day when they're ready to talk about it that how you know what they're leaving behind they may start reviewing their life a little bit and um, getting ready to say goodbye. Then the next time I could see them, they might be talking about third line chemo or signing up for a trial. Wow. And in a completely different headspace. Wow. So they have to really set the pace there. I don't know what I'm going to get every day. And and um, and that's okay. I don't go in with a mandate and we don't force people's faces in it or anything like that. Yeah. We just yeah. sort of we go with where they're at and, and, and do talking around that. That's sort of affective denial. There is a difference that it's more of a pathological denial. For example, if somebody's got a curative type condition and they're so much in denial that they won't even, you know, access treatment right. and that this sort of tumor that's sort of growing and growing and growing and they're, they're not even acknowledging it. That's a different, that's more pathologic. Yes. You may need to get in there if you can. But um, but the the affective denial, people will move in and out as as they do, as they confront death. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content. Uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.